Hey folks, welcome to all of you on your channel that is on J Physics Maniac. Uh, I hope that you are preparing with your all gun blazing. The exam is knocking around the corner. Few things we have to be extremely careful because NTA board is tightening the screw once again. They have launched negative marking in numerical type questions. So your understanding on the subject has to be very crystal clear and you have to go deep down the level of conceptual understanding. So without wasting much time, let us go into this. Uh, this is basically this problem will help you in developing the foundation uh, in solving such kind of cases in involving motional EMF. Now regarding this particular question, I will come into two or three different variations of it so that every single part of this particular concept is covered and uh, there is no confusion that left in your mind that how to solve this kind of questions. Okay, fine. So they are saying a metal crossbar of mass m slides without friction on two long parallel conducting rails as distance b apart a resistor r is connected they are saying that the resistance of the bar uh, and the rails is negligible okay fine no problem that has to be given at time t equal to zero crossbar is given a velocity v naught towards right towards right velocity v naught is given and what happens afterward fine no problem so when the velocity is given towards right we know that magnetic flux phi is equal to basically b vector dot e vector and we have taken that the magnetic field is perpendicular and upward the page so here b and a parallel to each other so that means it is simply b into a so when it is moving in the rightward direction when the rod is moving rightward direction this area this loop area is obviously increasing it is quite easy to understand so that means a is increasing in the sense phi out outward magnetic flux is also increasing so as per Lange's law what will happen as per Lange's law that this outward growing magnetic flux has to be opposed and because of that phi in should be induced. So inward fit means the field will be induced magnetic field will be inward and if we apply right hand thumb rule the direction of induced current will come in that direction. It's pretty simple. So if that is the case so think step by step then the current flows to the rod in that direction so if i apply magnetic force that is acting on the rod that is equal to i l cross b so l vector is along minus j cap and b vector is along plus k cap minus j cross k becomes minus i cap so basically in this direction magnetic force will act which is basically a resistive force and motional emf we know that simply e is equal to capital b small b into v divided by r that is the current so this is emf and divided by resistance is the current now we have already seen that the force is basically acting as a resistive force so i will write fm is equal to minus ma minus sign is to interpret resisting the motion so then small calculation i will take the limit from v naught to v and i will get v equal to v naught e to the power minus this factor interesting part is that that this is exponential variation which was quite obviously expected because we have seen that whenever we get a velocity dependent resistive force you see this is a velocity dependent resistive force kind of drag force and then the velocity dilutes exponentially so at t tends to infinity v will be equal to zero so the rod theoretically will come to rest after infinite span of time next question they are asking okay, how far does it go okay fine we have to calculate the distance traveled so in that case we will simply integrate zero to infinity vdt and we get an answer too so the most interesting fact, weird fact, the astonishing fact in case of physics is that the rod travels a finite distance in an infinite interval of time. So man lo, agar question me kabhi pusha jata hai, multiple option correct me, ki is it possible for a particle or for a digit body to cover a finite distance in infinite point of time? Yes, it is possible. Example aapke saamne hai. Ho sakta hai. Chal. Next. Third part kya pucha question ka? Third part pucha hai ki what about the conservation of energy? We will check ki what happens. Now, my simple uh, logic is that that whenever the rod is moving induced current is developed and whenever there is a current there is a resistor there will be a heat loss so i will try to calculate the heat loss what is the amount of it for that i will take the electrical power p equal to i square r and p here is nothing but dh dt right so if i integrate an h i will get wow 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 that is half mv square that means whatever the kinetic energy that the rod was carrying initially will entirely be explained in terms of heat energy so this concept is quite clear to all of you. This is a very simple thing and you have understood clearly. Now I am just modifying this question a little bit, little modification. What is that? That I am taking the same rod. I am giving the rod a velocity in the left rod direction initially. And there is a constant force that is acting on the rod in the right rod direction. I repeat, the rod is initially given a velocity in the left rod direction. And the rod is constantly getting acted upon by a constant force of capital F in the right rod direction. And 
क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल एक्सप्रेस वी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम एक्सप्रेस वी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम देन यू ऑल्सो ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट वॉट इज अ मैक्सिम डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड ओके आई विल लुक फॉर आउट डू इट डू लेट मी नो योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड इफ यू थिंक दैट यू आर गेटिंग बेनिफिटेड आउट ऑफ दिस प्लीज डू शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल डोंट फॉर्गेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन because that's the only thing that i can get from you if you think that i am doing productive to you then only hit the like button otherwise please don't and if you think that it is productive and it can be useful for the other people please keep sharing and help me to reach out to more and more subscribers thank you